Hello and welcome back to our EUS Master Class series. In this video, we will continue our exploration of liver anatomy from station 1, this time focusing on one of the most important vascular landmarks in hepatobiliary imaging, the portal vein and its branches. We will learn how to trace the main portal vein, its left and right branches, and how to identify them step by step during a clockwise rotation of the echoendoscope starting from the left edge of the transverse fissure all the way to the right edge. From the neutral position in station 1, that is the abdominal part of the esophagus, we can begin mapping the course of the portal vein and its divisions. As we rotate clockwise, we essentially trace the portal vein system across the liver hilum. From left portal vein to the confluence of the left and right branch and finally to the right portal branch itself. Let's go step by step with four key frames. Here in this image with a slight clockwise rotation from the neutral position we start following the left branch of portal vein as it courses through the transverse fissure of the liver. A few key landmarks to note here common hepatic artery appears anteriorly, common bile duct is seen running parallel and most importantly the transverse part of the left portal vein is visualized clearly. This step confirms that you are aligned with the portal venous plan and ready to trace its main branches. With further clockwise rotation, we now reach a critical junction, the confluence of the left and right portal vein branches. Here you can identify the main portal vein before its bifurcation, the inferior vena cava appearing posteriorly as a large and echoic structure. The common bile duct settle adjacent to the portal vein. This union point is a key anatomical landmark because it represents the portal bifurcation, a crucial area in both diagnostic imaging and surgical planning. Next in this image, we focus on the transverse fissure itself, the breadth of this fissure, the distance within which the right branch joins the left is roughly 4 cm. Several landmarks become visible here. The D2 segment of the duodenum may appear inferiorly. The gallbladder might also be seen anterior to the portal structures. And most importantly, the portal vein continues horizontally as it branches. This 4 cm segment is clinically relevant because it is the operative field during hepatobiliary surgeries and is essential reference during EUS guided interventions. Finally, in this image, we visualize the right branch of the portal vein. Here is how to orient yourself. A slight upward angulation of the scope is often necessary. The caudate process of the liver is a key landmark. The right portal branch typically runs just beneath it. The inferior vena cava is again visible posteriorly. The classic sign here is the direction of the flow. The right branch of the portal vein typically courses from 6 o'clock position towards 9 o'clock on the ultrasound screen. This view is particularly helpful when evaluating right lobe pathology or planning segmental interventions. Let's summarize the stepwise tracing of the portal vein from station 1. Begin with the left portal branch coursing through the transverse fissure. Rotate clockwise to find the union of the right and left portal branches, the main portal bifurcation. Appreciate the 4 cm breadth of transverse fissure, the zone of branching. Use slight upward angulation to follow the right portal branch, causing 6 to 9 o'clock beneath the caudate process. Mastering this sequential tracing is crucial for accurate segmental anatomy interpretation. Identifying vascular variants and planning interventions such as portal vent sampling, tips, or targeted therapy. Thank you for watching this tutorial on tracing the portal vent and its branch from station 1. In our next session, we will dive deeper into segmental anatomy, mapping, and discuss how to correlate EUS findings with surgical liver segments. See you in the next video.